guys, so in today's video, uh, I'm going to be doing a video on entity placement in redstone. So pretty much entity placement is mostly useful in hopper dropper search circuits, such as this one right here. So as you can see, it'll like, uh, there would be a dropper here, but I think I replaced it with something, but there'd be a dropper facing up, just like that. Uh, it would go up, and because this minecart is actually slightly clipped in that hopper right there, you can see that it will, if I just get a redstone block here, we can, it will end up in this dropper here. So yeah, that's pretty much what minecarts can do, and you can also place blocks inside of them if you do a zero tick. So you can make things like this, so you can just have a thing here and it will go down into the hopper right there. Or you can have something like this where it will be in the dropper and then you can power it like that and then it will end up in the hopper, just like that. Or you can even have it diagonally, this is one of the harder things to do, you have to like push it in between four blocks like that. But it's the same thing, you can just put a block in there, I just broke that, I pushed it a little bit but it will still work I think. If I put an item in there, we can power it, and then, yep, it ends up in there. So that's just in between four blocks, even though it looks like it's mostly on this hopper. And we can also see another dropper circuit with a really annoying minecart in here. This is, like, inside the pistons here as well. This is for, like, a big piston door if you want to do, it, like, something like that. And I recreated that little situation right here. So the pistons would be in these two blocks here, but one higher. And basically, you can put an item, oh I've already got an item in there, but you can put an item in there and then power it, and it will go from here into the minecart down into this hopper, and it will end up down here. So you can just like, power that, and then it'll go back here. You can also use boats for, like to block minecarts such as this thing right here, if you want to place a minecart in between a piston because you want to get this uh, the item from this hopper down into here you can do the regular clip but you can also add a boat right here and it will as you can see it won't push it won't push forward out there and it still will put its item down in here just like that so it works really well you can also use minecart hoppers like this so when we put our item in here, it will end up down in there. It, it's very fast when you use minecarts as well. You can stack them on top of each other like this, and you can do it from like a diagonally, or it doesn't really matter what you do. It'll it'll just put the item down into there. Or this is where it gets really complicated. You can do like a seven stack of minecarts like this. So these are all minecart hoppers, and then the last one is a chest minecart. And I made this little setup right here, so you can just to show that you can also run redstone signals through here. The way you can do this is you can get blocks like this and you can actually, when you get a piston, you can actually zero tick them in. So if we just get a sticky piston, regular pistons don't support this uh, method so you have to use a sticky piston and then you just put a button on it, you press it and it'll uh, just put the block in there and it won't move the minecart. Uh, if you do it before, if you do it with like a minecart fully in there, it, it'll look like it moves it over, but it will actually just, it'll just go back after like a couple seconds. But this means that you can actually like put an entire redstone signal into here, just like this, like with the piston and then like that. You can actually like power this with minecarts here as well. So it's really useful. And this system right here is like a really good example. So, as you can see, when I flick this lever, the redstone signal right here will go through, power this piston, and it will give a little pulse to this uh, redstone lamp. And then when I flick it, when I flick it again, it will this redstone block will attract powering the dropper, and it will make this item go through all these mine cards, and we'll get an output through here. Yep, just like that. So you can see, we can have redstone signals going one way and the other way as well, just using minecarts. And to get the item back out of this bottom dropper here, which as you can see, I've, I've just put another minecart here, just because we needed a comparator to power to stuff. But to get the item out of here, you just I've just made a little redstone clock, which will, like, it'll... So I've just made a little redstone clock here with two hoppers, 
and it will basically just power all of these all of the droppers individually in the single row which is really good and then just like that it'll power all of them and then the item will end up back in this dropper yep just like that and then we can do it again see that powers from the redstone signal and then that powers it's really useful and then once again we can just send the item back up through the return system yep it's right there another thing you can use minecarts for this doesn't have to be a chest minecart I've I just forgot to use a furnace minecart but I normally use furnace just because if you use a normal minecart you can accidentally get in it and it'll mess things up but if you do this if you extend this down it'll actually get this detector rail to power which you can get a redstone output from and the reason this doesn't get sucked down onto the rail is just because when I did the minecart trick I didn't I made the center block over the cauldron not on the uh, not on the rail just so that it doesn't get sucked down onto it the way you can do this trick is this one's a bit tricky you just kinda you just get some blocks like this you need a sticky piston for the cauldron to go here you can just put the cauldron there as well underneath but you can just run some rails like that into a fence it's important to use a fence and then you just push the minecart I'm actually going to use a furnace minecart just like this push it like that and then you can remove all of this move the rail move the fence and then when you when we get a redstone block here actually I might just use this this little setup like I did there you can actually pull it up and then you can get a block down here with a detector rail so you can get the output so it's really useful the way I did most of these tricks is just by pushing the minecarts into a fence just so it's like halfway over the block another way you can use entities in a door is by using armor stands so you can uh, get a armor stand like this and if I just get a uh, lever like this we can push it up just like that and we can actually get a I think we need to use a slab for this yeah we need to use a slab that's not on that half of the block we need one that's uh no we need one that's like that and then we can just push this down with a piston like that we can we don't need to use a zero tick for this one because it's pushing down we can just use a normal one tick with a redstone block and if we actually just put a pressure plate like that on the on the slab you can see it it presses it so that's useful if you want to get a little output through here like that you can see we get an output and that's a really useful way of getting a redstone signal up without having to run dust all the way up there you can also clip minecarts into hoppers now I'm gonna show you how to do this now because it's really it's quite hard to do but uh, yeah I'll just show you now so if we just get a hopper right here then we can get um, a dropper not there, down here we want to get the item to come up from here we want it to go up and into this hopper right there <coughs> so the way we can do this is we can either just do it like that which is the easy option but if we want to have redstone and stuff running up here like redstone dust then we're going to need to do a minecart clip so the way we're going to do this is underneath the hopper you're going to put a slab just like that and then we're going to put two blocks up like this and get your rails and we also want a furnace minecart just because it's easier place your two rails like that and then just let that go inside and then drop that down like that and it will just sit there now we're going to want to get a thing on the other side like this with the rails as well and then you're just going to like click and then quickly remove the rail and it will just sit like that on top of the minecart 
Uh, and this, and if this is the edge of the door, that's not a problem because the, because it's just behind it. The hitbox doesn't go over the outside of the door. And we're gonna get a soul sand. This is if you wanna, this is if you wanna like push it up because we need, we actually need to push it up just so that it's inside of the hopper's hitbox so it can deliver items. But we're just gonna get a sticky piston like that, and we need a redstone block, so we're just gonna push that up. Yep, we can get rid of all of this stuff. And now, it is ever so slightly just clipped inside that hopper there. So we can get the we can get the dropper again. And now, we can deliver items up into this hopper. But we can also run redstone through here. And have a redstone signal there as well. Very nice. So yeah, I think that's it for most of the entity tricks I know. If there's something else that you want me to show, then yeah, just leave it in the comments. But yeah, uh, that should be it for this video, so see ya.